Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today we are doing what I promised. We are going to be comparing my Coach Studio 19 bag to my Chanel mini flap. I want you guys to see how similar the bags are to me and see if it's something that you may consider. Perhaps an instead of or an addition to. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome back to What I'm On Today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. I have been on a contemporary kick, I would say for the past year and a half. Um, I feel like bags are getting so crazy expensive and not saying that they're not worth it. If they are worth it to you, they are worth it. And I have purchased some luxury bags this year that have been super expensive and I've purchased some years before that have been super expensive. Um, so it's not to say that I'm not going to continue to do that. I'm going to always purchase the things that I like. But since I have a variety of goodies in the collection, I thought it would be really cool to show you guys a comparison of two bags that I actually love in my collection. And I want to show you guys their differences and their similarities, especially if you are maybe considering getting a Chanel mini, um, but maybe the price is too crazy, or you want to try out the look before you buy it, but you want something super quality. I need to show you all the things in the Coach Quilted 19. So let me show you these two bags and get right into it. All right, these are the two bags in comparison today. We have the Chanel mini flap here. This is from, do not trust me, but I believe it was from the 21P, I could be lying, but I'll put the right collection below. I believe it's from the 21P or 20. 20 collection I'm not sure and it is this beautiful metallic silver in lambskin and then you have this beautiful quilted coach um, studio bag this has the beautiful leather link chain and this came out this season um, similarities as you can see they are both very very similar in size I have not done the actual, um, you know, true to life measurements of them, but it does look like by quick comparison that the uh, Chanel mini flap is a nuggets uh, longer than the, than the coach bag. Um, let's turn them to their back and their bottom. So the back side of the Coach Mini definitely has a cute little pocket. Um, I have like put my card holder back here before. So it, to me, it's a usable pocket. As you can see, there's no pocket here on the Coach bag. Neither one of them have feet, as you can see here. And then the makeup of the bag is very similar, but a little teeny bit different. So we'll go over each one of them. So with the Chanel Mini, it has a turn lock, as you can see. So that's how you open and close the bag. It has a chain that is metal and then leather running through it. As you can see, the chain is not a detachable chain. However, you can play around with the chain and shorten it by clipping it here. Or, of course, you can... You know keep the size that it already is on the inside of the bag as you can see also I should mention this is a totally a total leather bag there is no fabric anywhere in the bag on the inside of the bag it is a big open space there is a slip pocket and then there also is a zip pocket okay Chanel for the coach bag I'm gonna go over the straps really quickly since there are two so this bag comes with two straps it comes with a 
regular leather strap that is absolutely adjustable and of course detachable as you can see. It also comes with this beautiful chained leather strap which is why we're all obsessed about this bag. Um, the opening of the bag. So this is a bag that can be locked. There is a key here on the side of the bag and it is functional. Here's the key. It is a functional key and basically you would put it in here to lock the bag. Um, the bag opens by pressing this and lifting up and voila. You can see that the hardware runs through to the other side. This bag is also a fully leather bag. The inside of this bag is one open spot and it has a small kind of card holder piece. Oh, I lied. There's a little bit of a uh, canvas on the other side of this, um, but I think that's it. There is a back slip pocket that you can use. And then also there is a front slip pocket that you can use as well. So this is kind of an overview of this bag. So the, the layouts are fairly similar, but a little bit different. Um, other things that are very similar are of course the colors. So Chanel comes out with every color under the rainbow in the Chanel mini, which is awesome. Coach is working on that. So as of right now, they have come out with, I believe three, three colors. This color, there's a dark, darker blue color um, with um, gunmetal hardware that's available today. And then in the UK, there is, um, and it's not specific to the UK, I'll just say not in the US, there is a purple one and I think it has gold hardware that's available as well. I imagine that this is going to be a bag that they will continue to make in different colors. So I am hoping that that is absolutely the case. Um, this bag, the coach bag is way heavier than the Chanel bag. And it is probably because of the strap. While the strap isn't super heavy, I think with this all leather bag and the strap, it is heavy. But in general, even without the strap, this Chanel bag definitely seems a lot lighter than the coach bag over here. They both are quilted bags, as you can see. Um, price points are places where they differ heavily. So uh, the price point of this bag, I will put the right information below, but I believe it is now $4,200 for the Chanel uh, mini flap. And for this bag, this uh, coach quilted studio bag size 19, this one actually retails for $695 in this particular size. So huge difference in terms of the um, the price. I would say the quality for me or both of both bags are absolutely there. I've never had any problems with this. All of my stitches are in line, no problems here. I know that people complain all the time about Chanel quality. Um, I'm not experiencing it for this particular bag. Um, this bag, I mean, if you guys know Coach, you know that their leathers are phenomenal. And this is no difference. Um, there is no stitch out of place. I mean, this is just perfectly made. Um, now, really quickly, I want to show you guys what this fit. And then I'm going to have mod shots of how both of them look on the body. Because like I said, I think they look very similar. And they are a great uh, bag where if you don't want to spend the money for this bag, you can definitely get this bag and still be happy and look amazing. So I'm going to do a quick transfer of things. I'm actually wearing this bag right now, which is another Coach Studio 19. Um, and I have all of my goodies in here. I am sure you can fit more. So I'm going to pop my sunglasses on top as well. Um, and then I'll show you all the things. All right. So the first bag is the Chanel bag. So we are going to see what she fits. I usually have a pouch, but the pouch that I'm using is a huge pouch, so it doesn't fit in any of these bags. So I have my gum, my lip gloss, hand sanitizer that I need more of, oops, wallet and mask in one swoop, and I'm just kind of, I'm not even putting these in here nicely. 
my box of shenanigans and ear pods and my keepsake. Oh, my phone. And my phone. I have to move some things around a little bit, but boom, there we go. Okay, I just threw these things in here so messily, but as you can see, it fits a good amount of stuff and you can probably add some more things to it as well and usually with this bag i think i actually put all the things in the pouch but it fits perfectly no distortion all good so now let's see if at least all of the oh i said i was going to put my glasses in here let's see if the glasses fit glasses on top okay now we actually have everything in here that I would probably normally carry with me. So even though this is a small bag, I feel like it fits like a really good amount of stuff. So now let's see if all of these things are gonna fit into the Coach Quilted Studio bag. Fingers crossed. And I will say, now that I have this Chanel bag on my shoulder, it is not the least heaviest bag <laughs> with all your stuff in there. And of course, it's a fully leather bag. Um, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. Not going to rip your shoulder off, but got a little weight. All right, so let's open her up and let's put all the things in her. Well, I'll be dagnabbit all. So this is everything that we had in our Chanel bag fit in here, which is pretty freaking awesome. So all in all, like I mentioned, I think these are super comparable bags. They are both really good looking bags to me. Like I, you guys know, when I love a style, I get 900 of the styles. So um, love both of these. Obviously the price points differ, but outside of the price points, the materials are very similar. Um, obviously this has a little bit of extra shenaniganization because of the two straps that it has. Um, both very classic looking bags and to me great for your collection if you are into it. And if again, you are not really trying to spend that Chanel money at this time point, or maybe that's just not your vibe. Maybe you're like, I'm never spending Chanel money on a bag. Um, look, she is a great, I don't even want to call her an alternative because she is a whole mood on herself, but she's a great alternative if you are looking for, um, something to compare to the Chanel bag. I love both of those bags. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of those bags and you really are considering all things, like I said, luxury is great, contemporary is great. They are coming out with some amazing things, super high quality, so you don't always have to break the bank, but if you wanna break that bank, or if that's not even breaking your bank, you go for it, because I know I love a Lux thing, but I also love a contemporary thing too. If you want any more information about either one of those bags, definitely comment below. Um, you guys know I will be answering. If you are new to this channel, welcome for all of my people that have been here. Thank you guys so much for coming back for yet another weekend with me. I will see you guys all next week. Um, again, Saturday at 1. And also, if you haven't subscribed, do it. And hit that notification bell because like I said, I'm here every Saturday at 1. See you next week. Bye. Tastes like an angel. She lit like a Badu. Wrote her a high.